Welcome back to another anatomy and physiology discussion. For today, we're going to discuss about musculoskeletal system. If you want to know more about that, stay tuned. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Neil Gavin. I'm a registered nurse and I do have a degree in medical surgical nursing. I create nursing education and content to help nursing students with their studies. If that's something that you are interested in, consider subscribing. If you're already a subscriber though, thank you so much for your love and support. I see you. I upload my nursing education and content through the three times in a week. So don't miss that out. Subscribe now. Hit the notification bell so that you will be the very first to watch my newest uploads. Also, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and share with your friends because that would really help me know that you like to see more content like this. Without further ado, let's jump into the video. Hi everybody, another anatomy and physiology discussion ang alay ko sa inyo for today. This is your request you guys and I am so happy that you guys, you guys are sending your request. If you have other anatomy and physiology discussions, please let me know on the comments section below. If you haven't watched the very first anatomy and physiology discussion we did, which I discussed about skeletal system, I'll be putting it here. And also, don't forget to check out the other nursing contents I created for you. Now, in order for me to do that, I will switch back to my PC and I'll see you guys in a bit. Hi everybody, welcome nga sa ating formal discussion ng iyong muscular system, anatomy, and physiology. This is your nursing guide sa pag-aaral mo ng anafi. So, so, I suggest na makinig kang mabuti ha. At don't worry because sa mga upcoming nating discussions, we will going to cover um, anatomy and physiology for nursing. If you haven't watched the very first anatomy and physiology video, I did. I'll be putting it on the description box, including all the other videos I, I created um, for nursing educational content. Now, make sure that you check the description box for some helpful links for your reference. So, on this module, we're going to discuss about the functions of your muscular system, anatomy of your muscular system, what are common muscles, characteristics, the types of muscles, and we're going to have short quiz. All right, let's begin. Functions of the muscular system. Now, producing movement is a common function function of all muscle types, but skeletal muscle plays three other important roles in the body as well. Now, let's start with the very first function we have producing movement. Mobility of the body as a whole reflects the activity of the skeletal muscles, which are responsible for all locomotion. They enable us to respond quickly to changes in the external environment, maintaining posture. We are rarely aware of the skeletal muscles maintain body posture, yet they function almost continuously, making one tiny adjustment adjustment after another so that we can maintain an erect or seated posture despite the never-ending downward pull of the gravity. Stabilizing joints. As the skeletal muscle pull on bones to cause movements, they also stabilize the joints of the skeleton. Muscle tendons are extremely important in reinforcing and stabilizing joints that have poorly fitting articulating surfaces, generating heat. Mm -hmm. The fourth function of the muscle generation of body heat is by product of muscle activity or what we call as ATP. Naalala mo pa yung ATP natin? Now, ATP is used to power muscle contraction. Nearly three quarters of its energy escape as heat, and this heat is vital in maintaining normal body temperature. Now, we're going to talk about anatomy of muscular system. So, this is just a sh uh, our illustration that will show you the uh, muscular system. I'm not going to go over all of these if you want. You can actually, excuse me, you can take a screenshot and review it. But basically, this is all the muscles of your body front and back. All right. Take a screenshot. Ano yung mga dapat mong tandaan dyan na normally ginagamit natin sa ating pasyente? Deltoid muscle, gluteus maximus. Ano pa? Just go over this anterior view and posterior view ng ating muscular system. All right. What are the four common muscle characteristics? One is contractility. Now, this is the 
ability of the muscle to contract when the actin and myosin filaments slide across each other. Now you guys, a contraction is a reduction in the size of the muscle fibers. A muscle must have extensibility for movement to occur. Now what is elasticity, you guys? This is the ability of your muscle to return to its original position. Take note, once a muscle stretches, it needs the ability to return to its original shape. Now excitability. This is the ability of the muscle to respond to stimuli. Muscles movement occurs in response to nerve impulse. Remember that nerve impulse. We're gonna talk about the types of muscle. Alright, so alam nyo na to, reviewin lang natin. We have your cardiac, skeletal muscle, and smooth muscle. Let's discuss each. When we talk about your smooth muscle or your visceral muscle, this is found inside the organs, like what? Your stomach and intestines and blood vessels. The weakest of all muscle tissues are the visceral muscle, which makes up to your organ. Now, this contracts to move substances through the organ. Because visceral muscle is controlled by the unconscious part of the brain, it is known as involuntary muscle. It cannot be directly controlled by the conscious mind. The term smooth muscle, uniform appearance when viewed under a microscope. This smooth appearance starkly contrasts with the branded appearance of cardiac and skeletal muscle. Anong gusto ko tandaan mo pag sinabing smooth muscle or involuntary muscle? Those three terminologies are the same. These are your involuntary muscle meaning you cannot control them so we're gonna discuss about cardiac muscle this muscle is only found in the heart cardiac muscle is responsible for pumping blood throughout the body cardiac muscle tissue cannot be controlled consciously so it is involuntary muscle cardiac muscle and your smooth muscles those are both what involuntary meaning you cannot control them while hormones and signals from the brain adjust just the rate of contraction, cardiac muscle stimulates itself to contract. The natural pacemaker of the heart is made of cardiac muscle tissue that stimulates other cardiac muscle cells to contract. Because of its stimulation, cardiac muscle is considered to be autorhythmic or intrinsically controlled. Okay, lastly, we have your skeletal muscle. Now, this is the only voluntary muscle, meaning the muscles in your body that you can control. It is controlled consciously. Every physical action that a person consciously performs, example nga nito, yung kapag nagsasalita, kapag naglalakad, or kapag nagsusulat ka, requires a skeletal muscle. The function of the skeletal muscle is to contract to move parts of the body closer to the bone that the muscle is attached to. Most skeletal muscles are attached to two bones across a joint. To the muscle serves to move parts of those bones closer to each other. Malino na tayo doon? Okay. Cardiac and smooth muscles are involuntary muscles, meaning hindi mo sila makokontrol. Gustuhin mo man hindi hindi titibok ang puso mo unless natigs ka na. Skeletal muscles are the only muscle that you can control. Now, meaning kung gusto mong pagalawin yung kamay mo, taas mo yung right hand mo, tataas yung right hand mo. Cardiac muscle ay hindi mo po pwedeng makita sa ibang parte ng katawan dahil pang puso lang siya. Doon lang siya. Smooth muscle, normally sa GI track natin to. Ooh, you guys, we're done. And here we go with our short quiz. I will give you 10 items and I want you to answer them in 5 minutes. Now, we're going to do a different thing, okay? I don't want to waste your time. Now, sa ating quiz, I want you to pause the video and time yourself. Time yourself. Give yourself 5 minutes to answer these questions, all right? And then, here we go. I'm going to show it to you real quick. Good luck, you guys. Okay, wala bang nang daya? Ganon nyo kabilis sinagutan yung exam. How do you find the exam? You find it helpful? Very good. Now, let's answer them all. Let me change my cursor here. Question number one. Which of the following is not the function of muscular system? The answer, letter C. Shoot, ka, ano to? Endocrine na ba tayo? Mm, excited na ako doon. Gagawa tayo ng lecture about endocrine system. Okay, number two. True or false? ADP is used to power muscle contraction nearly three 
three quarters of its energy escape as heat and this heat is vital in maintaining normal body temperature. Ano yung ATP? Adenosine triphosphate. Okay? Yun yung ating energy. Okay, the answer is true. Number three, a blank is a reduction in the size of muscle fibers. Diniscuss natin daw the answer, letter A. Number four, which of the following is not a characteristic of muscle? The answer, letter B, malleability. Wala tayong diniscuss na malleability. Ano to? Gold? Ganyan. Mali. Next, number five, muscle movement occurs in response to stress, heat, nerve impulse, nerve impulse. Number six, true or false, once a muscle stretches, it is not necessary. I'm sorry, typographical error. It is not necessary to return to its original shape. Alam ko naman na gets mo yun. Not necessary. It is necessary. So it is false. Which of the following is not considered as visceral muscle? Stomach, blood vessels, none of the above. None of the above. Kasi lahat ito is smooth muscle and visceral muscle. Okay? Now, number eight. True or false? Cardiac muscle is found only in the heart. Cardiac muscle is responsible for pumping blood throughout the body. True. Number nine, the function of blank is to contract to move parts of the body closer to the bone that the muscle is attached to. Ano to? Ano to? Skeletal muscle. Okay. Responsible for movements. Move parts of the body. Number ten, true or false, skeletal muscle is the only voluntary muscle tissue in the human body. It is controlled consciously. True. Yes! you guys that was our discussion for today i really hope that you learned something you guys i want to thank you so much for all your love and support you guys have been really growing and i want to grab this opportunity to encourage you guys to please like share and subscribe kung hindi ka pa nice subscribe to my youtube channel i promise you guys that i'm going to create more and more and more nursing educational contents to all the filipino nurses there future nurses and mga registered nurses na para naman makatulong sa ating pagre-refresh ng ating knowledge. So once again, thank you so much and you guys stay safe. Thank you so much you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. Help me grow my channel. Are you ready here? Might as well subscribe. Hashtag Team Kota. Give this video a big thumbs up and share with your friends. Let me know what you guys think. Put them down in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to check out the other playlists I created for you. I'll be putting the links on the description box or simply click this icon button right here. Let's connect. Follow me on all my other social media accounts. Everything is at Neil Gavis. See you again, baby.